Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day seven of the July Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's Sunday problem. Uh, at least for me, it's Sunday. I guess this is technically Monday whenever you watch it. But yeah, uh, I'm about to go for a run, or well, maybe not about, depending on how fast I saw this one. Uh, I just kind of, it's so hot today. I walked two or three miles outside just to get some groceries and was drenched and had to take a nap afterwards. But now I feel okay. Stop the farm. Gonna go for a four or five mile run or something. Something uh, very slowly. So just gonna get some miles in. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's it. So let's get started on these. <coughs> oh, jeez. Excuse me. Let's get started on today's farm. We have 1353, maximum number of events that can be attended. So, okay, so you have events that overlap. Uh, every event starts at start day and ends at end day. What does this tab thing mean? Then attend and, oh, I see. So the, the rectangle means that it is available, and I guess the color means um, that they actually attend. So you could end at any day. Yeah, I mean, this seems like a very straightforward sorting form, if you ask me, right? Um, Basically, you're given a list of part, um, if you want to do a sweep line, right? That's the way that I would think about it, is that, okay, maybe I'll draw it out real quick. <clears throat> I think the way to, to think about these problems is to have a correct visualization. Maybe not correct, correct is the wrong word, perhaps. But just like any visualization that allow you to get a little closer to the truth, right? And what I mean by this is that, okay, so let's say you have this problem, you, you only can, you only have to attend, or you can only attend like one at a time, this is the number line, so you have some segments, maybe actually I'll change the colors real quick, uh, so you have some segments that, where you can attend, right, and then the idea for behind this problem is that you just want to sweep line from left to right, right, and that means that for every time, so you're here, okay, well there's no event, you're here, uh, pretend that they match the beginning. Well, the two events, so which one would you take? Well, I mean, in an obvious greedy kind of way, you just take the shortest one, right? Because they extend further. Um, it may not matter, but you could do some exchange principle to kind of convince yourself of that. Okay, so then now th this is done. Then now you say here, right? Well, here now, we both consider again. Now you have both this one and this one to consider. And of course, we'll take this one because, again, it ends earlier, right? And I think from that, you can, uh, with that visualization, you can kind of just keep on going and get it that way. So th what does that mean for us implementation-wise, right? Well, first, it, it means that the way at least we have to sort the events, but it also means that we have to uh, be able to get the min, right? Uh, because every time we sweep, we, we want to be able to get the min, so that it would support our greedy operation of getting the one that expires the closest. And that's basically it. Uh, and we don't even have to like mark it or anything, so we, we just have to get the total count. So it should be pretty okay. Um, yeah. So I, I want to think about this. I mean, I, I, the way that I like setting these up is by events. Um, and actually, well, in this one, they even call it events, but I just mean like events in a sweep line event, right? And the reason why is just that... Um, it allows me to kind of think through them in a more, um, I don't know, I don't know if module is the right way or even abstraction is not the right word, but just in a way that is more like isolated, right? And stuff like all these weird, like, okay, you have to think about states and all these things. And the way that I often do it uh, is just by having a default dig. Maybe sometimes it's a list, sometimes it's some other things. And here, then now for start, eh, okay, I want to say end, but. Maybe here we have UET for events. Uh, in events, we want to say, well, we want to, from start, we want to add a event that ends at ye. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the key thing is that we can sort by um, the keys. <clears throat> and also all the end events are grouped at the same time, right? So then now uh, we can say maybe the T for, you know, the event, and then we have a sort here, right? Um, and the thing that we said is that, okay, well, that means that we now move from the previous time to the current key time, right? Well, what does that mean? Well, we want to be able to get min. So uh, now maybe we have a heap. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, let's just use a heap. And it's a little bit tricky because of something that we will talk about. But here now, for so this is the current time. So that means that we want to also, um, for events of t, not events of t, you we, sorry, yeah. I usually name them events, that's why it's a little bit confusing for me. Uh, but yeah, so for here, we can say for every endpoint here, we want to push it into the heap, right? And that's it, pretty straightforward, kind of, maybe, hopefully, right? And then now we want to get, okay, um, mm, actually this is a little bit awkward now that I think about it. Because we actually want to do the day one at a time and not have this T thing. Um, we can maybe take a look at the constraints, but I, I, I don't know. <clears throat> right. Um, hmm, how do I want to set this up? It's a little bit awkward, but I don't think it's that bad. Right. Basically, we want to say maybe uh, LT for the last process time, and maybe that's at like negative infinity, right, to start off. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then now, so before we push the if to t, we want to bridge the gap from uh, the, la out the last time to t, right? So that means that um, while we have things on the heap, and lt is uh, less than t, Uh, yeah, maybe that's fine. Then we just keep on uh, heap, put, heap popping. This is actually a little bit more complicated than I expected, to be honest. But and this is maybe like uh, ye as the last ye, right? And this is the min. And then the only two conditions that we have to consider, right? So if ye is greater than you go to last time, meaning that it happens, at, if the end point is afterwards, then we get to pop, right? So we actually have a count thing that I didn't know. So then we can do this event. And then also, well, we move the last last time increment by one, and then that's it. And then at the very end um, of this invariant, that means that everything is now up to either LT, right? Um, then now we can say LT is equal to T, right? Because this is now the last time we well technically LT is equal to T minus one, but we uh, so we have to process T as well. Um, and maybe we'll do it later then, right? And then now again, after we set it up, then we go, okay. Um, oh, actually, I guess maybe LT is equal to T minus one um, to kind of set this all up. And then here we can say, well, same same thing, which is the LT is less than T because we can only, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm off by one here. It's very awkward, this one. I don't know why I'm struggling today with this one, honestly. Eh. But in any case, the invariants are fine. Maybe I'm off by one, right? Um, we want to process including up to t, actually. So maybe here we set out t is equal to t. Now, I guess I have to be more defined. This is the last thing that we want to process. So... So that means that if, yeah, okay. Then now, actually this is wrong. Um, what we want is that, I mean, this is fine, but what we want is actually uh, if h of zero, the top of the heap, if it's less than t as well, or less than t, yeah. Or less than lt in this case. Mm, eh, this is very awkward. I don't know why I'm awkward today. Because uh, I feel like this, the idea is not that bad. But um, yeah. But basically, if so, we want to actually do something like if e is greater than, or I guess this is, uh, well, uh, <clears throat> if the top of the heap 
it's greater than your LT, then we have this thing, right? And that's fine. And we want to say maybe year is equal to hip, hip pop. Right. Else, that means that we still want to pop, right? Because that means that the top of the heap is before the LT, so then we just pop. Maybe that's why this is fine. Yeah, maybe the, actually, maybe I, the way that I had it before was fine for this one. I, I think I just confused two things, uh, which is here and here. Because here now, we want to also do the same thing right and we just take the thing here and that's it and the lt gets processed i think that's fine um i think I'm, it feels a little awkward because i feel like i'm not very um because I'm, I'm using LT as the last time we're defining, but I think I actually want it to be the current time that we're processing. So maybe this should have been... Um, well, this should be less than, but this should be equal to, I think. And this should be this. Because we only want to do one anyway. And that's... I think that's mostly it. Um, except for we have to kind of process the heap, right? So, yeah. So while do 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 right, I think this is fine. We just have to keep on incrementing it, um, because it goes to infinity, if you will. Like you could set t to infinity and then maybe do run it again, but uh, then we should return count. And I think this is kind of right, but it looks way awkward, for sure. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I had a silly mistake somewhere. So let's give a yolo submit. But uh, okay, well, I guess we're good. <laughs> but it's kind of the way I, I, I'm not happy with the way that I wrote this, to be frank. Um, but this is to clear up all the other stuff. I guess I don't really need this. No, I can't. I, the reason why this, this is in this awkward order is because I think. The, the ones that we newly put it in um, has to be considered. But then this one is to kind of do the jump, right? Because if you, like for the keys, if you jump from like 1 to 10, you want to be able to take account all the, the, the other ones. Um, and then this is just for leftovers. Yeah. I mean, the way that I wrote this is not very clean. How did I did it previously? Uh, well, I guess previously was five years ago, and I got two wrong answers. So I guess it's good that I didn't have two wrong answers today. I guess I mostly did the same thing, except for I kind of put the... Okay, well, this way is a little bit easier, even though it is obviously not as clean and not as fast, because, um, you know, if you look at complexity, there is this, like, craziness around it just that you just can't get around with complexity. It's still fast enough, but it's not fast. Fa uh, fast. Um, but today, you know, you can see that we're much faster because we can go over the complexity, which is that this is just n log n, right, for the keys, for the events. And then for each one, we put, um, we push n pop once at most. So that is going to be n log n, or log n per element to n log n total. Uh, and that's it. That's all I have for this one. Even mean, this is way ugly. I hmm, wish I could clean this up, honestly. I mean, this is to bridge the gap because we're skipping the gap and this is for bridging this current one does that matter maybe i don't need this one actually maybe i don't need this maybe that makes it by yeah okay i didn't think i and the reason why you don't need it is because then the next time you you'll bridge the gap and it'll do it one at a time anyway um and then here we'll just kind of you go you can also like think of this as like okay, uh, t is equal to infinity or something, and then and then if you write it that way, then this is just going to look the same. That's basically why. Um, and and the, the else here is that okay, well if the ending is after the last time we processed, or you go to, then we can process, we can use this. Otherwise, then it is just we skip this event be because it already ended, right? So it doesn't do anything, which is why we left it out. Um, but yeah, 
All right, that is all I have for this one, I think. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. It's a little bit ugly. I don't feel happy about it, but it is actually cleaner than I did last time, and I didn't have wrong, two wrong answers, so mm, that's a win. I'm going to go for my run. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.